Mind. Hello once again everyone. Here we go for another stream. Right, who we got on today? Hello everyone. Here we got we got Stefano. Paul what's that? Paul is the best free UK. Hello and hello Cartoon Network, Nicholas Boris, Nicholas Parsons, uh Cartoon Fantastic, I guess. I don't know. And he's there, he's there with a bloody game request already. Here we go. Jack Hacken's on. And Maltese is on. Um, who else we got on? <laughs> Anthony Brown, how you doing? Neil Desperandum, how you doing? Mark Blaster, how you doing? And Milestone Electronics, how you doing? You're already lagging? Oh, I don't know, the fucking... Probably YouTube fucking up, I don't know. Good, good. If I've missed any... If I've... Yep, uh, Nicholas is already... Requ oh, yeah, sorry, Classics. Missed you out. I do apologise. Um, well, we've already got the first game requested. Oh, the hell. Here we go. All the games are coming in. Make Someone make a list, because I'm not going to remember. You watch. I'll play Nicholas's game, then he'll fuck off. He always does. <laughs> Just because you like Mario games, Nicholas, that doesn't mean I'm going to fucking like them. Why don't you play them on your channel? Why do you fucking make me play your shitty games? Yeah, I know you're a big Nintendo enthusiastic, but I'm not. Hello, Payne, how are you doing? Nicholas, what about if I gave you some game requests to do? Would you do them? I'll tell you what, you can do PlayStation games. You keep on at me about PlayStation games, why don't you do PlayStation games? Oh, Nova Bugs playing Dizzy. <laughs> Here you go, Nova Bugs playing Dizzy. <laughs> yeah, well, they're not in my childhood. <laughs> like it, classics, like it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> when I saw that name come up, Cartoon player and TV whatever. I just thought I called him the cartoon. Called it the Cartoon Network. <laughs> yeah, but why are you a film master? What's the fight a film master all about then? <laughs> okay, Andrew. <laughs> What are you master of tea? What you're a master of film then, are you? The cartoon game, TV, and film master. You upload videos. You upload video. What I've seen, I haven't seen any new videos yet. But what you, what you um, sort of videos you uploading? You upload 3D movie maker. Oh, I see. What well, all Japanese anime, I guess. Master of trolling. <laughs> A master of Bation. He's the master of Bashan. There we go. Microsoft 3D Movie Maker. Okay. <laughs> well, at least you got at least you got a channel now. That's the main thing. 
and now I can start are you gonna st are you gonna play games on it or are you just gonna or are you gonna just mess around with 3d graphics 3d rendering or whatever you're doing well at least you're doing something creative Oh no! I thought he was going to say something else then, Mr. Blobby in Crusty the Cloud doing something else. <laughs> I don't really want to know what they're doing. What? I should try and watch The Simpsons and Knight Rider all why would I don't want to watch it all the time why would I want to watch it all the time for I haven't watched it for years actually especially Knight Rider I haven't watched that for years and years well Jack sigh no surprise there <laughs> Bit of a look. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I used to like Night Rider. I, no, I liked all those old eighties so, um, high tech things when I was a kid, <laughs> like Airwolf. Um, I liked the A Team. That was another good one. You got a beer? Well, I'll be drinking. I'll be drinking. Drink and all. I'm not. And yeah, street all and all. Yep. I'll be drinking later. Of course I will be. Won't be a stream without me drinking. <laughs> okay. Um, apple and cranberry juice to drink. So you're not you're not you're not drinking out you don't drink alcohol, do you Nicholas? <laughs> well I don't drink heavy stuff anymore. Those days are gone. I thought it was, yeah, Tangerine Dreams, it was, tan yeah, Tangerine Dreams did uh, feed to sh Street Orc. Manimal, I remember that, I couldn't get into Manimal, just couldn't get into that. Remember Auto Man? Breeder from Holland. Never heard of Breeder. Must be an, well, it's probably one we don't get over here. Quantum Leap. You couldn't, I don't know. I, I couldn't get into Quantum Leap either. Oh, you can, you can cook. Well, that's a good. I'll tell you what, that impresses the ladies. Ladies like it when a man can cook. So what are you doing? Sitting on your computer where you should go out there and get the ladies, mate? <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's up to you. <laughs> I can't fucking talk. Yeah, well, I've been fucking married. That counts. Don't need to do it anymore. <laughs> been there, done that. Water t-shirt. Yeah, well, you still got your life to come yet, Nicholas. How 
working. You can't, what are you talking about? Cook salads. You don't cook a salad. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hang on, wait, wait, hold on to your uh, game requests for a second. I've already got one at the moment, I can't remember them. When I say next, then you can feel free to say it because I ain't going to remember. What someone should do is write out a list of who requests what, because I ain't going to remember. It's a better way if someone writes out a list. Yeah, your salad's not cooking though, Nicholas. So Stephanie, how long did your stream go on? I noticed it was on there for three, three hours. I was knackered. I was knackered time 12 o'clock, but that is fun. Um, I don't know if everyone knows, I do now have Quiplash. So that may replace the pub trivia quiz, but I'm not sure yet. What? Am I going to play it? I might do. I might. I'll see. I don't know. I might give it a test if we get a little bit of a break. But I want to. F we're going to try and finish that um, um, pub trivia quiz off tonight if we can. I mean, we've only got about 30 more P to get. But then again, it's got to be. We can't lose any money. <laughs> I don't know. If I don't play it tonight. Probably be on the next stream, but we'll see. We'll see. Because I'm, I'm, I've got to give it a test first on maybe a, a test stream, see how much uh, internet, because it's going to be connecting to servers, so it may slow the internet down. Something I'm a little bit worried about. Yeah, all right, let me, so on, hold on a minute, calm down. <laughs> Hello DVD, how you doing? Good, good, good. What time is it? It's only 6.45. Okay, I better start getting on with the games before all these requests start building up. Well, it's only going to be requested until 8 o'clock anyway. You all know the drill. Right, let's... Mario Party on the N64. Hello, Rachel! How you doing? Just in time to watch me play games. <laughs> right, okay, let's get the emulation sorted out. Right. Right, N64. And what is it called? Fuck. I'm wrong. Mario Party. Mario. Oh, here we go. I have got it. And there's a Mario. Oh, no. Let's not tell him. He probably knows. Right. Okay. Let's see. Good, good. Yeah, Mario time. Let's see if... Oh, God, English. Is this... Is this... Of course it's okay. You watch, you watch. I'll play this game and Nicholas will fuck off after this. You watch. Oh, God, more bloody Mario shite. <laughs> yeah, we're not sitting through the cut screens. Can't be bothered with cut screens. That's the level doing good. 
what I'm doing. Oh, you just got to set it up in. Um, what, if you go to options, I can't bloody remember now. How do I do? How do I do it? I can't remember. Nicholas, explain to him how you set up the controller. Because I can't explain to DVD how you set up the controller in the in Project 64. Right, okay, let's just get on with this crappy game. Oh, I don't know if it's crap yet. I think it's going to look... It looks crap. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, God, it's a... Hello, everyone. Let's get on with it. X input. Yes, I do, Nicholas. I do. Why it? Oh God! What is this crap? What am I playing here, Nicholas? What am I playing? Yeah. I thought. I thought this was going to be a platform game or something. This is just... Can we get going, please? Let's just play. This is... This is crap! This is a board game! Nicholas, this is a board game. No, no, there's nothing wrong with board games, but... Come on! It's not exactly exciting, is it? Oh, why didn't you tell me that, Nicholas? It was a bald game. I thought it was going to be a platform game. Right, who wants, to, who wants to request me the next game? I'm not playing this. This is... This is shit. It's worse than Pokemon. Try playing another game next stream. I'm not reviewing this, Nicholas. So don't give me... So don't tell me to review this game, because I won't be reviewing it. Right, Strider on the Mega Drive. Now that's more like it. Right, we do Strider, then we do Blazing Lasers. Right, okay. Now we're getting somewhere, hopefully. Where is it? Right. Strider, here we go. Okay, classics. Oh yeah, they're always exciting, Payno. They're always exciting off Nicholas, aren't they? <laughs> oh my god. I'm not sure did I have I reviewed this? Options, let's have a look at the options. Easy, of course. I might have reviewed this. I'm not sure. Start. No, you've already had a. Ch you've already chose one game, Nick. Um, Nicholas, give people other people a go. Let other people choose as well. You know, you know the rules. One person, you know, let everyone else have a go at choosing a game. Then, if no one chooses, then. You can choose again. No, keep it fair. Right, okay. I wasn't paying attention there.
Nicholas, it's, you're amazing because you ain't buggered off. You usually bugger off after your chews. And you don't see it. Right, hang on, let's concentrate on this. I'm trying to concentrate on the chat as well, but it's not working. Right, let's play the game. Right, now I've got to jump this somehow. Jump! Here we go. Oh, fuck's sake. Right, let's have a proper go at this now. Yeah, we're going to continue. Alright, okay. DVD, you should you should um, ask Nicholas to play some crappy games for you. <laughs> right, oh, oh, watch those, watch those. Oh, fuck it. Oh, I'm supposed to get that. Oh, fuck Oh, we'll get up there. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, leap of faith. Uh oh, what's going on? I've got a problem. Why is, the, why is he starting to stutter? Right, how am I supposed to get up there then? Not like that. Right, I'll have another continue. A, zi a zippy stray. I couldn't do that for four hours. <laughs> I'm not doing. Why is it? Oh. Right here we go. Ah, oh. oh, what? Come on! Right, okay, can I pick that up? Yep, I'll do that one next with Mile Star or Blazing Ladies on the Turbo Graph, on the PC Engine. Yep. Right, what do I have to do here? Not that. Game over. Right, I'll have one more continue, then we'll play Blazing Lasers on the PC engine. Yeah, great. No, that, 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 I think I've reviewed that and it's pretty good. Oh, for fuck's sake. Do you ever like space? Yep, yeah, I like Star Wars. Yes, I'm quite aware of that, Nicholas. Doubt it very much. I hope not. Yeah. 
Oh, that's a good. That is a good game, though. That Herb Strider. That is good. Oh, I ain't got no continues anyway. Okay, let's get the PC engine out and let's play. Was it Blazing Lasers? Right here we go. Oh, on bomb. Bollocks! I keep looking at the chat, that's my problem. I keep keeping one eye on the chat, one eye on the on the game. It's not working. What's that? What's that? Are they power-ups? Oh my god, I hate to imagine if B um, Disney owned the BBC, they'd probably rename it to the DBC or something. The Disney Broadcasting Corporation. <laughs> Power-ups. This one's a good one, this one. <laughs> ah, shit. On the spectrum. Oh no! I know what that game is. Oh, that's the one that um, Stefano just reviewed on his shit game time. Thank you very much, DVD. I much appreciate that. Hang on, Nicholas. Let other people have a choice as well. You're choosing too many games. Let, have a, let everyone else have a choice. If no one else wants to choose, then I'll play it. Give someone, give other people a choice, a chance. I can't wait till you start streaming, Nicholas. I'll be requesting all sorts of games for you. Oh yeah, I think we all will, won't we? If Nicholas starts 
reviewing games. We'll all be in there with our with our games, all our games requests. I think this must be our last life. I don't know, this one's a good one, this. Ah, bollocks! I am not looking forward to that one. Alright, sunset run. We'll do that one after. Remember, remember these, because I ain't going to remember them. So, pop stars on the spectrum, then... Sunset Riders. Someone remember that, please. <laughs> I definitely want to get that Pop Stars out of the way because I know that's going to be crap. I think I should have a little notepad or something. It's a shame I can't have a little notepad or something. Right, that's game over now. That is a good game. That's a good game. Quite enjoyed that when I'm concentrating, that is. <laughs> so let's pay this crappy fucking pop stars on the spectrum. That's alright, that's okay. Okay. Oh, we can use emulators. Hang on, what am I doing? Pop stars. If I've got it, yes I have. Oh, what's happened? This snapshot was made. Ah, God. Right, define the keys. Right. Yeah. Let's get this one out of the way quickly. I know what this is. I hate these. Nicholas, I'm with you. Not Nicholas, Stefano. I'm with you in, with these puzzle sliding games. I hate them. Especially this one. This one looks... No, I'm not liking this. This is awful. But I kind of knew that anyway. Welcome back, Classics. I am playing Pop Stars, which DVD is requested. This is shit. This is really bad. This is really bad. I think it's that bad. I'm going to play Sunset Riders now, because this is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. But I, can, I knew that anyway. On the SNES. Okay. That was crap. <laughs> um, I don't know. Don't ban them. I just, I just won't play it. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to review it. You got Stefano's reviewed it. I'm not going to review that. That's just horrible. Sunset Riders. If I got a feeling I played this, I think I reviewed this. Here you go, Cartoon Game Network, whatever your name is, you can review that. There you go. You can review it on the Spectrum. There you go. Any crap games, give them to Cartoon Network to review. <laughs> Come on. Alright, one player, let's have a look at the options. <laughs> Not this. I'm talking about the, the bloody pop stars shite.
Right, let's start the game. One player. Anyway, I'll give it to you, DVD. You can review it. <laughs> right, we've all ten got ten thousand dollars. I don't think no, I haven't played this, I don't think. I think there's something else. Oh here we go. Hang on a minute, you've already had a choice. Cho you've already chosen a game, Milestone. Oh, wait a minute, you've already chosen. If no one chooses, then you can all repeat. But give everyone else a try, a chance. Well, how am I going to get up there? Oh, did I get up there? No. Can I get on that barrel and then I'll get up there then? What the fuck hit me? This is a bastard, isn't it? Oh, no, no, no. God. Who requested Donkey Kong? I know someone did. But that was Nicholas again, weren't it? You already requested a game! Had a message from Clansman. Right, okay, let's have another go. Right, you have to jump up and jump. Jump, you have to have to up and jump at the same time. Okay, we'll try that. Oh, what can I fight? Here we go. Fuck's sake! Right, up, fire. Right, why not work in? Right, slide. Fuck off. Right, ah, uh, let's just shoot that bastard first. He's getting in the way. And what do I do? Almost bloody. Oh! Hang on. Yes, gotcha. Right, okay. Up, fire. Up, fire. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, right in the nads almost. Right, oh, well, right. what's going on here? Oh, no. Right, is that going to hit me? Oh, no, I can throw it. Oh, fuck. This is quite a tough game. Continue. Choose someone else. Oh, he's got a gun. Big gun. Right, okay. What was he do? Damn it! Here we go. Double dragon, yes you can, Maltese. Damn it! I find this game quite annoying actually. Oh, is this in it? Oh, bloody hell. It's glitching a bit. What's glitching? Oh! 
Not glitchy, no. I'm, I ain't seen any glitches. This is the this is the stream. That wouldn't surprise me. All right, let's have another continue. The speed of bandit. Wherever he is. Bloody hell. Might be, because the quality is looking crap and it's gone into the red, so that wouldn't be surprising. Hello Andreas, how you doing mate? So we got, hang on, yep, okay, I'll do that one after um, Double Dragon. So Rock and Roll Racing, oh, that, I know what that is, that's a good one, that's a good game that is. If I, know what it, if I think I know what that game is, it's um, one with Monster Truck Racing, isn't it? I have to turn the music off on that though, because I know I could get a copy done for copyright issues on that. Mark Milestone, why would you keep, why would you keep on with gaming? Wait a minute. Who's bad as Nicholas? <laughs> right, so, um, so we got. Let's do. Oh, well, I'm still on the snares at the moment. Right, let's get on the master system. Master system. Uh, right, Mars system, was it? Double Dragon. Right, let's see how this plays. Then after that we'll play... Um, Paint, was it Paino's game, Rock and Roll Racers? Right, okay. Let's see how this, oh my goodness. Sprites are small. <laughs> Let's see how it plays before. Oh, Look like Double Dragon Kids edition. Still, it's better than the Amstrad TPC version. Mind you, there was two versions on that. And one was really bad and the other one was pretty bad. <laughs> Bloody hell. Maybe I should. Oh my god, he's still requesting games. Oh, Sprite Flicker, what's going on with Sprite Flicker here? I'm getting my ass kicked. Why? Why can't? Oh, here you go. Here we go. How the hell do you? How do you jump? Oh my goodness. Oh, you got to push two, both of the buttons. All right, that's how you do it. That's how you do a flying kick. It's both buttons. I think you push both buttons at once to do a flying kick. No, you don't. And I'm pushing up. Oh, here we go. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Right, I've got the rope. Is pain, huh? Oh, 
Oh, you have the cartridge? Okay. Oh, here we go. Can you pick these up? Yes, you can. Hello, Jason. How you doing, mate? Good, good. Um, I don't think I have reviewed this one yet. I think I've only reviewed it on the Amstrad CPC and that was both versions of it. Oh, baseball bat, baseball bat. You know what this reminds me of this game, Target Renegade. That was awesome game that is. That was Target Renegade. On the on the Amstrad it was weren't weren't as good on the Commodore 64 though. Could only play one player. Oh bloody hell! All right, this will be my last continue. We'll play um, Rock and Roll Racer after this. Right. Yeah, I don't know why we're getting so much sprite flicker here though. Bloody hell. Yeah, yeah. I just, I was bothered about that Stefano. I just want to turn the music off. Because I have reviewed it and I think I've got a copyright match on it. So the first thing I'll do is turn the music off. Because we've got, um, I think we've got Ozzy Osbourne and music like that. Jimmy White's Whirlwind Snooker. That's an interesting one, because I've never played a snooker game on a stream before. 
I won't get a copyright strike. I'll turn the music down. What I'll do, I'll turn the music down first. And besides, I'll get a copyright match. I won't get a copyright strike. There is a difference. It just means I won't be able to monetize this stream otherwise. Right, we'll leave that one there. That's, a, that's not a bad version. That's not a bad, bad version. That was on the SNES, wasn't it? Right. Rock and roll racing. Let me just turn. Fuck. Let me turn the volume down. Emulator audio. Right, that should be alright. I'll turn it back up once I've sorted it out. Let me sort out the audio first. New game. Why can't I sort out the audio? Why ain't it letting me? I'll just load it up again. I've got... Oh, do ya? You have to start the okay. New game, one player game, rookie. Right, select hero, rookie. What do I do? Right, I can only afford that. Yep, yeah. okay Rachel, what we got? So we got, um, I can't remember now. <laughs> Everyone keep a, keep a notice of, of what I've got to do because I can't keep up. Right, okay. My equipment, set options, here we go. Music off. That's it, sorted. So I can turn that up back now, turn that up now. Here we go. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so it's Jimmy White, then Carnal. Oh, fuck. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's silly, isn't it? It's silly. You know, it's not even uh, it's not, it's only a cover version. It's only a computer version. I still can get a strike, not a strike. Uh, I watch me call it a communist strike, <laughs> a copyright, whatever match. You know, it feels it plays a little bit like my machines, but with more with isometric sort of graphics. Oh. It doesn't feel the same without the music, no, does it? It's not the same, you know, it gives the music gives it a bit of extra, but obviously I can't play it. And that fucking announcer gets on my nerves and all. Reminds me of Death, who remembers the film Death Race 2000? That bloody annoying announcer. Yeah, it's different, but it's still good though, you know. It's good to have, a, have games that are different. Right, I've done that one. Yes, yep, Stallone was in it. Shred is in another time zone. 
Right, so we got take note because Jason ain't pick one. So we got Jimmy White, Karnov, then super, then skid mark. What six skid marks or super skid marks? Right, remember that. <laughs> Let the carnage begin! Yeah, hence rock and roll music. It's not rock and roll. It's not rock and roll racing without the music. It's just called. Might as well just call it racing. <laughs> Yeah, I think you're right, it's too easy on Rookie. But usually, if we've got it on easy, some of the games are balls hard. I think for a Japanese person, um, their easy is equivalent to how hard. <laughs> oh, bollocks. About to blow. Rip fades into last. Hawk is dominating the race. Yeah, it is easy, isn't it? It's very easy. <laughs> I'll have one more race, then I will play snooker game. Right. What, what, what much have I got? Ah, what? Oh well. My new car, no, let's just go race. <laughs> the stage is set, the green flag drops. Hey, one is Rock steering. Is about to blow. Oh. Viper is headed the wrong way. Viper looks lost out there. Hawk is dominating the race. Oops. Shred is about to blow. How can I be a Japanese gamer? I'm not even Japanese. I don't even, I don't even like Japanese games because they're too fucking hard. leave that one there it's a good game maybe I should try it a little bit harder next time it's still a good game right so it's Amiga time so it's Jimmy White's now I have to get the right settings here because this was a bastard to load uh, floppy drives Jimmy White's world win snooker
Hello Douglas, how you doing? Yeah, do I look Japanese? That's a bit worrying it. Oh, bollocks, here we go. Is it working? Yes! Right, start off. Doubtful player, full game, because this will take too long. Two player. Shame you can't. Anyway. Oh no, let's pick Tom. Yeah, Tom, because he's the easiest. Right, what's going on? And it's crashed. You fucker. I know this game was a bit temperamental. Now I'll try again, let me try let me change a few of the settings. Uh, this game was always a bit temperamental. Alright, best compatibility. Right, we'll try again. Right temperamental game this was. The pool Jimmy White um the pool game equivalent to this was it works no problem. This snooker one is always a bit of a problem. fucking gay fuck you I think you're gay <laughs> hence why you can cook and you haven't got a girlfriend <laughs> right okay yes right now we got it working Hang on, what's going on here? Can't remember how you play this. <laughs> uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> if you mean happy, yes, then yes, but. Alright, let's see where we can go. Ah, fuck it. And what happened? I fa what's this? Continuous shot. All oh, right, so now the need to watch the computer now. Yeah. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Cartoon Network. It's a good game. It's probably the best snooker game I've ever played, actually. Right, okay. But you got to be in the right frame of mind to play snooker games or pool games, especially snooker games, because they take forever to play. But I, I did enjoy this one back in the day. I really enjoyed Me and my mates used to play this one quite a lot. And Archer McLean's pool. Oh, can we get a pocket? Can we pocket? Nah, oh, shit. Oh, something went in. It was a red ball. <laughs> oh, so now I've got to nominate my colour. Right, let's, let's have a look round. Oh, Nicholas is gone, is he? All right, see you later, Nicholas. Oh, Cartoon Network, whatever his name is. Right, let's go for a blue. That blue looks all right. No, that's not going to work. Oh, 
Oh, that's spin. Don't want to give it no spin. Right, let's try that. Ah, bollocks. All right, see you later, Cartoon Network. <laughs> and the bastard gets it in. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ah, look at him. Bloody computer's going to clean up this, but... Yeah, there goes the computer. Uh, we, me with my one point and the computer with its 12. Ah, he weren't so clever that. Oh, look at that. Almost got a fluke there. Right, okay. Oh, fucking pushed the wrong button. Shit, I shouldn't have... I, wanted to, I was trying to click on the white ball so it zooms in. That's the one. I pushed the wrong icon. Damn it. What a fucking idiot. Right, oh, look at that. Jammy bastard. Yeah. Might as well just... Ah, you weren't so clever that time, was you? Right. Making... Right, okay. Click on that ball. That's what it is. Oh, that ball looks good. I'll try and get that ball in. Right, okay. Uh, Karnoff. It was Karnoff, then um, Skid Marks on the Amiga. That'll be the final two games, actually, of the night, so no more requests. But then we go on the quizzes after that. Right, okay. <laughs> right, now I can push that because there's no. Right, I'll play, I'll play this till quarter, quarter two, then I'll put Carnov on. Because this snooker takes forever to play. Oh, what's that? Why can't I take the shot? Oh, nominate a colour. I must have pot potted then. I didn't realise I pot. Did I pot? Yeah, of course I potted. I'm losing the plot now. All right, let's go for the blue then. Losing the pot. that right let's go for that one then this would be a game well you probably will get bored to death if you saw me playing snooker but it'd be a game to have a drink with good game to drink with ah I oh, still got it Oh shit, got two in. Got two in. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. What can I go for? Uh, the pink looks good. The pink looks good. Right. 
Have I got the right angle on that? They're too much of an angle. Right, let's go for it. Oh, sorry. I'm going to need the colour. Oh, shit. Maybe I should have kept it at that angle. Alright, see what happens when we get the quarter. For two minutes time, oh, what's happened? Uh, 67. Alright, okay. So the computer's going to beat me. Yeah, the computer's cleaning up. Cheating? Who's cheating? Yeah, I think he me messaged. I don't know if he's going to come on my stream. I hope so. I haven't seen Clansman for a while on, any, on my stream, or any stream actually. Okay. Oh, oh, am I going to do this? I doubt it. British Empire. Oh, Brit are we talking about the British Empire? Oh, yeah, good. It's good, isn't it? I like British Empire. Do you like old ca uh, classic comedies, Rachel? Classics. Oh, stop changing the, you, the computer. Don't need to change the angle with this. Why does it do that? Right. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Stefano, be interesting. Right, where am I? Right, let's go click that. Right, uh, so we'll go for a colour. What colour shall I go for? And I'll make this one the last ball. If I can get this in, we'll make this one the last ball. No. <laughs> All right, we'll end this one here. It's a good game. Don't get me wrong, it's a good game, but snooker can go on for years. <laughs> snooker can go on for a long, long time. Let's play Karnov. And I know exactly what sort of game this is going to be. Because I've already reviewed it. And it's a two disc game. Bloody hell. Oh, there's a one disc version here. Cheat. What? What's this? Snooker is the best sport. Well, you like snooker. Well, I'll see if he thinks it's the best sport. Oh, you fucking arsehole. I'll have to play the two disc version then. I know. I'll tell you now. I have reviewed this and... I didn't like this game. I've reviewed it on the Commodore 64, the Amstrad and the Spectrum. Right, come on. Here we go. Oh my god. Yeah, I do believe it's a Spectrum port. It looks like a Spectrum port. 
And then again, the screen does look wider than the Spectrum version. See, one tap. Oh, I avoided it. Yeah, it should, Stefano, it should. <laughs> but I, I can't... I think all the versions are just as bad as each other. Especially the Commodore 64 version. That was a terrible version. Oh, fucking hell, it didn't give me a chance. You didn't go to why the fuck was I still walking in the air? This is horrible. I was still in the air, I'm not oh, fuck's sake. It's alright, Rachel, I do I I knew this was going to be a bad game because I have reviewed it a long time ago. It's all right. What happened? Ah, oh, this is just. At least everyone can see how bad this game is. <laughs> right, let's walk down quickly. Get down! Oh my. Well, we made it this far at least. I'll tell you what, Stefano. Review, if you want to, review all three versions and tell me what one you think the worst version is. I still think the Commodore. Oh, look at the slowdown. That was horrible. And why am I getting at infinite lives? Ah, oh, I can't take this no more. I think it... I don't know if this was a Spectrum port or not. It could be, but the screen looks a bit more wider. Okay, Stefano, brilliant stuff. Um, I can't, I've reviewed all three versions, but... Honestly, can't. I know the Commodore 64 version looked pre was pretty crap. Right, so this will be the last game before we do the quiz part. Is Skid Marks. Because I'm, I'm dying for a beer. <laughs> right, I know this is going to be a multi-disc game. So, floppy disks. Let's hope it works. Do you want the... What is it? Skid Marks or Super Skid Marks? Right, let's go for skid marks. Race a disc, skid marks. Fuck it, five discs. Right. Super skid marks, okay. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, hang on a minute. I might have super skid marks. I might have super skid marks installed on the virtual hard drive on the Amiga. I'll find out. Right. Let's find out. No, I didn't want. I didn't. Oh dear. What's going on? No, I didn't put that. Right. Let's go back. Let's go back. Load it up again. Load up the configuration. Right, I'm hoping I've got this saved on hard drive. Whereabouts? That's another thing. Well, let's find out. Ok. 
James God Is it this hard drive then? Games, 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 games. Have I got it installed? I bet you haven't. I bet I haven't. Isn't that fucking typical? I thought I'd have had that one installed. Hang on, what's behind here? Nope. I don't have it installed. Now I can't go on. let's try the other try the other drive. Might be here there. Might be on that one, is it? Otherwise I'll have to load it in. No, I don't have it installed. For I, if anything I'll have that one installed. Let's I'll have to use the floppies. Oh what a pain in the ass. Super skid marks. Seven discs. And where's this one? Ah! Hang on a minute. CD32. Why has it got six discs on that? I'd rather put... If I had the Super... Ah, oh, if I had the CD32 version, that would have been easier. Bloody hell, seven discs. Right, let's see how we go. But I can't find this one. Where's this one? Oh, right, there's no, there's. Oh, bloody hell, I'll have to go for it. Seven discs. Right, let's put that in this three. So I can only put four discs in at oh, fuck's sake. Okay, let's see how this, let's see how it goes. I said floppy. Right, here we go, can we load up? No problems please. Why has it gone straight to workbench? I can, oh no, why is it going to, the, why can't I play it? It's gone straight to the disc. I don't want to install it, I want to play it. Oh, come on. I don't get it why it ain't working. It's not working. I know I've reviewed it, but I can't play it for some reason. That one oh, it won't allow me to play. Got to install it. I ain't gonna waste time installing it. Oh, here we go. Super skip parts. Two point. Oh, there's one. This one. So why is it on its own? Oh dear. Right now it goes to two or seven. It wouldn't run without, it wouldn't run, it just went straight into workbench and I had to install it onto hard drive, there wasn't no install file, weren't no run file. So I have to, oh for fuck's sake, 3 or 7, right I think I found something. 
I was better off finding the CD32 thing, version. It would have been a lot easier. Right, let's see how this goes. Can't be bothered to fuck about anymore. Yeah, beer, 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 I need a beer. Fucking hell, this is just hassle with this game. Did it? I, I must have. I only saw the hard drive. In, I think that was the hard drive install which I clicked on. I didn't see an, another f icon. I don't know. We'll see how this one runs. Right. Start match race. Set up players. No, just want to play again. Set match race. Right, okay. Let's go for one track. That'll do. Select. Oh god, it's crashed. What a fucking bastard. I'll have it one more try, then I will have to apologise because this one's a lot of hassle. Right, start chance to start. Select cars. Right. Just want to just do a race. I just want to do one race, and that's it. Fucking hell, what a lot of hassle. Right. Right, it's reading the disc, the disc, and it's crashed again. Fuck it now, this is ridiculous. Sorry, Jason. You can have. We'll try again next week. <laughs> what a fucking life. It's just too many. I just need to maybe install it onto a hard drive or something like that. Be a lot more e easier. Or, or, or that. Or get the CD32 version. Probably be even easier. Oh well. Sorry about that. Right, so, okay, who wants to select the first quiz game of the night? Actually, Jason, you can, actually, actually, Jason, I'll tell you what, you can select the first quiz tonight. I'll let Jason select as I can load up his game. Wheel of Fortune, or we'll see how that goes, because I don't know. If it's got a pause, well, I can just pause the emulator, but we'll see how that goes. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. Let's hope we don't have any bloody problems with this. Right. Load. Right. I'll choose the 500, because... Wheel of Fortune X. Ooh! I won't play that. Could be a bit, a bit dodgy that one. Wheel of Fortune X rated version. <laughs> well, there's two versions of Wheel of Fortune. There's a 93 version. Let's play the 86 version. Let's see if it works at least. Hang on, what that that what's that music from? Hmm. 
May I go and have some luck? Excuse me. Right, let's pause the emulator a minute. Oh, is it, is it counting down? Hang on a minute. I'm just going to I'll be back. Give me five minutes. And I'll just going to get my drinks and you know what? I'll be back in about maybe just under five minutes. See you in a bit. back okay right okay right SCL right it's a clock what the fuck's going on right right what, what am I doing how do I play this do I have to guess a letter Right, uh, I'm ready. How do you spit? I'll oh, spin. No, it's not. Oh, here we go. Please select a consonant. So, what do you want to pick as a first consonant? Consonant. A H. You got to double click. You may spin by a vowel or solve the puzzle. Right, spin. So it was done in. Right, please select a consonant. Right, what was the next one? S. Right, okay. Oh, no S. You can me spin, solve the puzzle.
<laughs> Look at the player's name on the mini leaderboard. <laughs> Phoenix Heather. <laughs> Spin. Right, so we got a K. Who's next? No K. So I'm just looking who's ever who's guessed. Alright, so what do you want to do now? Or should I just go for spin? Should I just spin? Yeah, fuck it. Please select a consonant. The next one's a T. Oh, yep, we well, know that's a the. That one's a the. The middle, the second word is the. There's the, the goat. <laughs> right, please select a consonant. What's after T? Well, we got T and F. No F. Uh, we can't go for a, a vowel. We've got to buy a vowel. We can only go for consonants. Uh, so, right, T was the last one. we got to buy vowels, remember that. No, we've already had an S. All the letters that have disappeared have all gone. That's the ones we've chose. An R. Oh, it's got an R. The, the summing R. Right, now we got a P. Well, why can't I select... Oh, don't tell me it's fucking crashed. Why can't I select the P? Oh, we'll lose a turret. Hang on, what's happening here? All oh, right. A P. No P. Right, okay. Lose a turn, alright. I don't know. Right, um. Right, we've had a no P. What's after P? A D. Oh! It's got a D in it. Right, okay, so something the R D. Something else. Right, spin or buy a vowel. The road. Yeah, it could be the road. No, it can't be. No, the something. The road. N. Oh, two N's. In. On the road, on the road. I wonder if that could be on the road. On the road. <laughs> on the road to something. On the road, something. Right. We, last one was an N. We've already had an N. On the road again, yes! That could be it. Oh, let's just let's see. Let's choose. Where's G? Let's make sure. Yeah. So you have or solve the puzzle. How do we solve the puzzle? Oh, solve puzzle.
bloody hell we done it well who, who, who said on the road again that was jason well done right let's have another go is that a thing right a thing so who wants to start me off if so <laughs> right who wants to start off with a letter an R Oh, we've got to spin first. <laughs> right, first things first, an R. Oh, it's got an R in it, and it's a thing. Right. <laughs> a P? No P. Remember, vowels we got to buy. I mean, I can buy a vowel if you want me to. It's got an S in it, so let's buy buy a vowel and um, an A. Oh, it's got two A's in it. So uh, whatever. A D, right? Spin. A D. Do you know this one's quite an interesting one because you don't have to pause the emulation on this one. So do you reckon we should add it, add it to the repertoire? Right, so we got an R. We got a Y. We got a D. No, we've had the D. It's a Y. Oh, so we got a Y. And it's got a T in it. An L. Yes, it's got a laundry. Is that laundry? I know what it is. La yeah, laundry basket. Yes. Yes. Well done. Well done. Right, let's have one more. Let's have one more. This one's quite a good one. Yeah. Hang on, we'll have... Yeah, let's go for another one. An R. Oh, bankrupt. Oh, shit. So this is the place. So an S. Oh, got an S in it. We'll go for an L. Yes, two L, three L's. Excellent. <laughs> right, what are we going to do now? An S. Right, an S. Now we've already had we've already had an S and what we've already had S. A B. A B. No B. 
uh, so no B a P oh yes a P a H oh shoot lose a turn are we playing two players here? I think we're playing two players. Right, all we P. No, B, we've had P, P. Yeah, P, P. Oh, we've had P. H. No H. A T. Yes, two T's. <laughs> An N. Oh, three N's. Right, so we want to buy an A. So we need to buy it. We need to buy an A. Well, what, what can I? Why can't I buy a vowel then? It's got to be a consonant. It won't let me. Can't buy a vowel for some reason. I think because you can only buy one. No. I don't know. I don't get that. Can't buy a vowel. Right. What, what do we have? Yellowstone National Park. Right. Okay, Rachel. Right. Um. Let's go for a wire. Right, solve puzzle. Yes, well done. And Payno got that one as well. Excellent. Right, let's go for one more. Fictional character. So Jason's got two. A J. Oh, better spin first. A fictional character, J. <laughs> if it's James Bond, that'd be funny. Well, what's going on? Oh, bankrupt. Nope, it ain't James Bond. Oh, Neil got it first, did he? Sorry, if we got it first, I do apologise. All I saw was... Right. Uh, a T. Fucking hell. No T. Oh, Rachel got it. Okay. Uh, okay, well done, Rachel, on that one. Someone said Neil got it, so I obviously didn't, I probably didn't see. Okay. Neil's being honest about that. Good, good on you, Neil. And well done, Rachel, for getting that one. Right. Um... Nick Fury. <laughs> right, it's right. So we got an an S. No S. We got a G. What can I fucking select? I don't get this. Some, I don't know. Oh, it's got a G in it. Um, yeah, we are. We always play as a team. You know, this is how these quiz games works. We always play as a team. A H. It's a bit unsensitive, this. What's going on with it? It's a definitely a basic Amiga game. You know, this it's, it's like a workshop. 
it's a workbench game. Right, okay, what are we going for? King, King, not King Kong. Not Kong. Right, so, have we had a H? We've already had H, so, do you reckon it's King Kong? No, it can't be King Kong, because the cat, because the G's in the wrong place. No, it can't be King. King should be at the end. That's, uh, there should be an end there. King. <laughs> right, we've got to buy a vowel. Can we buy a vowel? No, we can't for some. Why aren't you in this buy a vowel? Perhaps because we've got a... Right, I can't buy a vowel at the moment. I have to pick up a consonant. An R. Yes, it's got an R in it. So let's buy a vowel if we can. An O. Yes, it's got an O in it. So, oog, oog, something. An M. No M. Excuse me. Lose a turn, bastard. An L. No L. A T. I think we've already had a T. What do you add that? A W. No W. Yogi Bear. Fictional. You could be right. Is it Yogi Bear? Rachel's done it again. Right, okay, we'll leave this one here. This is definitely, this one should go on the repertoire. It's a good one, this one. It's definitely a good one. So what we'll do, we'll go to the usual. We'll go, let's see how, let's see how you, let's see how you do on Trivial Pursuit now. <laughs> Our baby boomer trivial pursuit. This is sort of like how always we do this. What the f trivial pursuit baby boomer? Here we go, this two, here we go. <laughs> oh, did I? No, swap. No, I'm not doing swap discs. Here we go. Right, is it all? Oh, classics is a bit late on this one tonight. You know what you usually do? Hey, here we go. We've got Maltese beat you today. <laughs> you might get the question. You might, you might get... This is one we always go to. This is our... It's called Baby Boom. It's more like the older stuff. All right, take care, Mol Star. Thanks for coming on. Right, sit. Oh, straight away. Straight away. What colour do you want to go for? Red, blue, orange, shitty colour, RPM, or silver screen? Okay, silver screen with the wedge. What 1972 film might Diana Ross's movie debut?
Lady sings the blues, 100%. Is that 100%? 100%? <laughs> well done, classics. That's your first wish of the day. Three. Right, what do you want to go for? Red or orange? Don't worry, Rachel. I can't get any of these questions right, but classics you know and it might get some you might get some you know it depends what you really like and so because you get some music questions you get all sorts of different questions right red okay which Lewis character which Lewis Carroll character was the subject of a very first Wednesday play? Fucking hell, classic. Alice, bloody hell. And DVD got that one as well. Okay. Who the fuck is Alice? Right. Six. Grey. Three. Grey. Five. Oh, RPM. Who celebrated his comeback with a garden party in 1972? Don't tell me that was Elvis. Malty seems to agree. Is it Elvis? It's a four wedge, remember that. It's a wedge. So we've got to be 100% as it's a wedge. <laughs> okay so who's gonna who's gonna give an hundred percent on elvis or hundred percent on something else remember no googling's allowed it's not elvis Yeah, but what the rule is, I made up a rule. If it's a wedge, we've got to be 100% and all agree on the same answer. When it's not a wedge, then it doesn't really matter. Because I try and make it a little bit more fun, if you know what I mean. No, I'm sure it was the 70s he came back. I don't know. I'm not that... I don't know. I'm only in my mid-40s. <laughs> Paul McCartney. Oh, it was 68, was it? Okay, classics. It was, was it a Beatle? Could be. Could, was it McCartney? Is that an 100% McCartney? Don, Don something. Don a kebab? Don, Don, Don. Don't know. Don McLean, Don McLean, Don Twat. <laughs> right, uh, so I need an hundred percent on an answer here because it's a wedge, so we need to be all you know unanimous. <laughs> bye bye, Miss American Pie. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say Elvis. Even if it's 68, oh, it was 68, wasn't it? Uh, but would you have had a who would have had a garden party though? Well, it couldn't be someone like Mick Jagger, was it? Who would have a garden party? All oh, right, okay, Neil. I'm gonna see him. Was he any good? Sixty-nine, dude. The Queen. 
Well, what? Unless the Queen had a sex change. <laughs> Who celebrated so it could be her now? <laughs> right. Who are we going to say? This, this. Think, think of someone who would have a garden party. So, Roy Orbison, Freddie Mercury. No, he weren't about he, Boris Johnson. <laughs> Doubt if it'd be Freddie Mercury. I mean, he wasn't even known then. Alan Bastard. <laughs> It'd probably be someone like, uh, I don't know, McCart maybe McCartney, I don't know. Who's, yeah, but it's celebrate his, so it's got to be one person. Alan Partridge. Hundred percent royal from just to have an answer. Okay. Um we got an hundred percent, let's say Roy Orbison. Rick Nelson. Who the fuck's Rick Nelson? Nielsen, oh Rick Nielsen. No. A two, a grey. Five. Oh, red wedge. What late fifties TV series starred Kenneth, Toby, and Craig Gill as helicopter pilots? What late fifties T? I don't know. Chopper Squad. Twangers. Airwolf. I don't think they had a. I don't know who had an album called Garden Party. Flying Fuckers. <laughs> it was a 50 single. Nah. I don't know. Chopper Squad. I'm, I'll guess Chopper Squad. Certainly weren't MASH. But was Chopper Squad in the 50s? I don't know. Take a guess. Oh, okay, I'll take a guess. It's not forward. It's a wedge. Yes, it is. It's a wedge. Shit. Um, mash. It weren't late fifties though. It was that was seventies, wasn't it? Okay, the troubleshooters. Let's find out. Oh my god, whirly birds. Three, okay, well, it's two wedges we didn't get. Mind you, there are questions. Are orange or silver screen? <laughs> Silver screen it is. <laughs> Who played Governor Le Leptamine? Leptamine in a Blazing Saddles. You might get this one. Mel Brooks, hundred Mel Brooks. Okay, Mel Brooks it is. Well done, everyone.
I knew you would get that. A one, grey. Three, grey again. Three, grey again. Three, grey again. Five, red wedge. What pair of what what pair of pup what pair of puppets pigs puppet pigs mimed to pop records Pinky and Perky Pinky and Perky well done classics and well done DVD Well done Rachel Well done Maltese I think you all knew that one and that's a wedge one uh, has to be shitty colour. <laughs> what was the first credit card debut in the US in 1958? Wasn't that American Express? Or was it Access? Was it Visa? Right, two for access. So is it access? Diners Club. Five, right. Orange or RPM? Yeah, I think it was. I think you could have been right there. Classics, RPM. Yeah, access your flexible friend. Mastercard's another one. What Beatles single was Wilson Pickett's last hit in '69? <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean by that, Rachel. He was the first person, was he, the first guy to ever use a cash point machine in the UK, weren't he? Neil's lagging. Right. All you need is love, and that's a question mark, so. Okay, 69, dude. I couldn't help. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> little help from my friends so we got all you need is love a little help from my friends so, hey Jude <laughs> no Jude Free. oh blue wedge was that? Which paper said he had an indifferent voice and sung poor songs? Oh, <laughs> the New York Times? It was an American, uh, well I think it was an Elvis song that, so, The Enemy, The Guardian. It's probably got to be an American one, no maybe, maybe not because he was big around the world. So we got some there, so we got The New York Times, The Sun, The Enemy, The Guardian, The Times. Let's 
find it's not full wedge is it this is it is a wedge isn't it yes it is so we got to be we got to be on the money on this one so we, you yeah it is for a wedge so you've got to be unanim unanimous on this one So what do you reckon it is? We got two for the enemy. Probably would be the enemy because it was it's a musical. So who wants to put an hundred percent on it? Or do you want because there's two for the enemy? No, there's only one for the enemy. That's Morty saying the same answer twice. Maltese, all right, we'll go with you, Maltese. No. And someone did say the times. And that was Jason. So Jason got that one right, but unfortunately, I went for the wrong answer. <laughs> yep, you did say it, but I went, because it's four wedge. I've got to, we because when it goes for wedges, we got to be hundred percent on that answer. I went for the wrong answer. Oh, were uh, shitty color or RPM? I'll only get skeptic when we play a uh, trivia quiz. I won't go for Morty's answers then because I know he doesn't want the game to end. <laughs> RPM. But as I said, we get to £10, that's it. Because the questions are repeating and people get fed up. shook up yeah of course it was well done classics and Jason and Rachel and Maltese five right blue or oh, silver screen all right well, uh, Mark take care of yourselves thank you for coming in Silver screen. Okay. What British actor played the title role in the Brigand of Kedamar? Kedahar, whatever. Oliver Reed, 100%. Oliver Wee, Wee, Reed, I should say, not Weed, Reed. Well done, classics. Three, right, grey. Four, grey. One, right, silver screen or shitty colour? Silver screen, okay, classics. Who played the leading role in the 1947's Brighton Rock? Oh, Richard Attenborough. Oh shit, what's going on there? Richard Attenborough, well done classics. Never seen it. Mind you, I don't think I've seen any films from the 40s. Right, Orange Wedge. 
I think the oldest film I might have seen was The Wizard of Oz. Who won his 100th cap for England in 1970? Snow White, yeah, yeah, I was, I, I, well, both of them I ain't seen since I was a kid. Bobby Charlton, <laughs> God, I'm not even saying that. Yeah, I, I totally would agree with you there, DVD, same here, same here. Obviously, there's some, not too many films from the 60s, but there was a couple, like James Bond films. Um, what's that fucking thing called? Um, you're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off the Italian job. Right, Bobby Charlton. Right, Bobby Charlton. Bobby Charlton, well done, Jason. And that's a wedge, well done. You're doing well tonight, Jason. Um, five. God, grey. What do we need? We need the blue. We need. We got the red. So they're all scattered all over the place. So it doesn't matter. One. Red or blue? I ain't seen that. Red. What year saw the first commercial breaks on TV in Britain? 1950, 1953 or 1955? I think I might have seen that version. Because it's definitely three ver Right, 55. Is it 55? Two for 55, one for 53. 55, 55. Well done, I said 55. I think I remember watching the 70s one. Oh, shitty colour. Shitty colour. Yeah, I remember the, the old, I think it's the 30s one, uh, the 70s one. On what side of his head did John F. Kennedy part his hair, the left or the right. I'll go with the first answer, left. The left. Well done, Maltese. And you was wrong there, Classics. <laughs> Rachel and Neil was right, as well as Maltese. And that's another wedge. God, I had to go for the first one, didn't I? That I had to go for the first one there. Good job I listened to you, Maltese, on this occasion. <laughs> right, so, red, red or red. What do we have to go for? We have to go... Well, it doesn't matter what... Hang on. We, need the, uh, we need RPM and we need... Or, no, we need blue. So it doesn't matter what way we go. What BBC TV programme was not so much a programme, more a way of life? I ain't got a clue. Country file? Was country file? Hmm. Frost on Sunday, the pots. 
Let's find out. That was the week that was. <laughs> Five. Uh, well, I might as well go this way, try and get the blue wedge. The, uh, the silver screen first. What sea was you was actually the cruel sea? What sea was actually the cruel sea? A ship. Mediterranean the North North Sea Mediterranean Atlantic well we've got some interesting answers there let's it ain't for a wedge so Rachel got there got that one right well done Rachel and so did Jason Oh, we've already got it, haven't we? Five. Right, we've already got that wedge as well. So we might as well go this way. What was special about this tube? See, it was the first ever commercial, wasn't it? Tube of toothpaste. Gibbs SR. Featured in the first ever British TV. Yes, well done. Three. Uh, we've already got that one, so let's go for orange. What conservationist shot a nine foot tiger? while hunting in Japia in 1961. I ain't got a clue. <laughs> That's good enough, a guess is better than nothing. Alistair Cook. Baby Bellamy. So we've got Alistair Cook, David Bellamy. In the undergrowth, in the undergrowth. Is he still alive, David Bellamy? <laughs> Do you mean David Attenborough? Richard Attenborough is a, an actor. Oh, he died. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Right, let's find out. The Dukes of As... Um, <laughs> the Duke of Edinburgh almost said the Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, I can imagine them driving and running over animals in their general lee. <laughs> no. Six. Oh, we've already got that one. Three. Um, Grey again. 
um, grey again. Five, we've already got that, so we have to go for blue. In which song did Cas Crisp? What did what's oh bloody hell? In which song did Crispin St Peter's sing? I got troubles. Whoa, whoa, way, way, whatever. All right. Well, I must have been conservation. I don't know. Um, Candle. This is a guess. <laughs> What's up, buddy? In which song do Chris? Nah. Candle, Tom Jones, yeah, but Chris is Chris, Crispin St. Peter's. <laughs> Pie Piper, right. What, yeah, but Tom Jones wasn't a song. In which song did Chris? Was Tom Jones' an actual song? Right, we'll have to find out on this one. So we got um, the Pied Piper, Tom Jones. Let's find out, Candle. You were all, you were on my mind. Oh fucking hell Stefano, sorry about that. You got that one right, but I was just you know, my, I don't know if you're lagging or what. But well done Stefano, you got it right even though I because it came way too late. <laughs> sorry. Um Grey. Must be the lag. Um orange. Oh, silver screen. What make a car did Annie Hall drive? Who's Annie Hall? A Volkswagen. A Volkswagen. Oh, make a car, Volkswagen. A Volkswagen, well done, classics. But what model of car? Was it a Volkswagen Beetle? Must have been. One grey. Two. Oh, we've already got it. Blue. Oh. What what did this paper blatantly introduce? I think we all know the answer to this question. Even though I'd never read them. Yep, the pre the pin up, okay. The page three girl, yeah, we well done classics. I think that was obvious. <laughs> We've already got that one. Orange. Who buys it for page three? Which famous heavyweight singer, heavyweight singer, died in Henry Nielsen's London flat? <laughs> Louis Armstrong.
Maria Ritter was on the cover of Barbarian, weren't she? And Barbarian too, but with um, Wolf from Gladiator. What do you mean, Wolf? Wolf from the Gladiators, rather. That fucking. Sh that television program from the 90s. Which I never watched. All I remember, everyone had a thing for Jet. That's what I do remember. <laughs> Oh you, oh, you watched The Gladiators, Rachel. Oh, I bet you did. Dennis Ruses. Dennis Ruses? <laughs> yeah, everyone liked Jet, didn't they? What did the women, what, what did the women like? What, what, did I bet they all like Wolf, didn't they? I don't know, I can't remember I can't remember all the characters, all the people on it. Right. Dennis Ruzos. Is that an hundred oh it doesn't matter. Shadow. <laughs> Who's Shadow? I, I, I didn't really watch it, but I just remember it was from the 90s. Right, let's find out. Dennis Ruzos, Mar Mama Cass. Mama Cass. Did anyone say? Yes, uh, Ra Rachel said that. Rachel says Mama Cass. Well done, Rachel. Three. Right, grey. Three. Another grey. Six. Has to be orange. What organisation met for the first time in Baghdad on the 14th of September 1960? Right, Jason says OPEC. Classic says NATO. Did she? Fucking hell. Right, OPEC. OPEC, well done, Jason. That's something to do with fuel. It's something to do with petrol, isn't it? Oil. It's oil or something like that. Um, oh, no, we've already got it. Okay. Two. Oh, we've already got that one as well. It has to be blue. What would 4,000 holes in Blackburn, Lancashire, fill according to the Beatles? Right, the Albert Hall. Two for the Albert Hall. The Albert Hall. Well done, Stefano. Well done, Classics. Well done, Neil. Well done, Jason. Well done, everyone. Three. Yeah. Silver RPM. Who had the humorous hit? Hello, Madaya. Hello, Fadaya. In 1963. Except you. Yeah, I honestly, I didn't know. <laughs> I probably do at the moment. I'll say I will forget. 
<laughs> I'll always forget. Dumpy. Right, it's a wedge, remember, so we've got to be spot on. We've got to be spot on. Alan Shearman. Is that an 100% under Alan Shearman? Right. Classic says Alan something. Is that an agreement with Stefano there? Alan. Sh right. Stefano's right. Alan Shearman for the wedge. Alan Shearman. Well done, Stefano. That's another wedge. Right. One more to get, and that's the blue one. Right over there. <laughs> Excuse me. What Lennon McCartney song included the line I feel good in a special way? All you need is love. Good day sunshine, 150%. Stefano, good day sunshine. Good day sunshine, well done Stefano. <laughs> right, one, go for grey. Six, right, shitty colour. Who married Mur oh, that? Maureen Maureen Cox? Maureen Cox in 1965. Hello, Billy. How you doing? Was you on last week? Ringo Starr, hundred percent. Okay. Ringo Starr, well done, classics. Well done, Stefano got there, whoever's got there. Was it last week or was it the week before? I can't remember. I remember it. I remember a Billy. Right, okay. Blue. Blue wedge, last wedge. Which searches hit had kisses sweeter than wine? Just watch, just watch Thomas the Tank Engine a few times, and you'll get the early Thomas the Tank Engines, and you'll probably get his. I can't do his. I can't do his accent. Here goes Thomas. Here goes Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas, no, that's not even fucking close. Thomas the fucking Tank Engine. Right. <laughs> Sugar and spice. Is that a hundred percent? Neve cherry. Neve cherry. Right, who's going to say, oh, he's retracted his message. Sugar and Spice. That sounds good. That sounds good. Let's find out. It's a wedge, remember. It's a wedge. Oh, it's a wedge. 100%. Okay. Sugar and Spice. Well done, Stefano. And that's the final wedge. Now we need to get to the middle. Oh my goodness! That was quick. Silver screen. This is for the game. Which Hitchcock film was set in a fishing village north of San Francisco? And I'm sure we've had this before. And I'm sure we're going to win this game. And it's the birds, 100% by Classics, DVD, Neil, Jason, Andreas, Rachel, Multi Sister Shining, <laughs> Stefano got it right, Billy got it right. Right, 
know what that means, don't you? Give me the option. Do you want to play another game before we um, try and final, try and finish off the trivia quiz tonight, or do you want to try and finish off called trivia quiz? I used to, I used to years and years ago, but I was not much of a clubber. Wasn't much. Let's try and finish off. But if we finish it off, if we go for trivia, we will finish it off. All right, let's just go for it. Fuck it. Right, um, right, uh, well, we'll load a snapshot. Right, I'll be right back. Right, okay. Time for a. P <laughs> Not quite. Guarantee you'll, you'll all know if I went for a poo because I won't be back for about 20 minutes. <laughs> right, okay. What are we going to start off with? Oh, classics is music. Okay. Classics is music. Right. Not only we're going to try and go for £10. Are we actually going to go for a round without getting a question wrong? And um, class, um, not classics. Um, I actually been told that we've been playing this game since the beginning of May. The first, um, I think, it was the first Saturday in May we've been playing this. So it may come to an end tonight. Let's go for music. Nine pounds six. I thought we had nine pounds seventy. Anyway, doesn't matter. Let's go. Fuck! Almost lost that. Who wrote the hit? Who wrote the hit? Walk on the wild side. It was Lou Reed. I'm sure it was Lou, we Lou, Lou Reed. Hang on, just look. Yep, yep, okay, Lou Reed, it is Lou Reed. Even I know that. Musical, that has to be music. Any, no, there ain't. Where does jazz come from? Birmingham, Luton or London? And no Maltese, I'm not going to listen to you because you would purposely get the question wrong for some reason. Right, um, right, everyone's, so, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. One saying C, classic saying C 100%, Rachel saying Luton 100%. <laughs> 
<laughs> I am not listening to you, Maltese, because I know it ain't Birmingham. Uh, <laughs> right, Stefano. Okay, it's... We're going with London. Well done, it said London. I always thought Luton was part of London. But Luton's always in its own sort of... It's more expensive to get to Luton, let's put it this way. But I always thought L Luton's part of London, but it ain't. Right, trivia. Oh, trivia has to go be trivia. How many gallons of... How many gallons in a barrel of oil? 26, 42 or 35? Where about where about you from, Rachel? If you don't mind me asking. Really? Twenty miles away from Milton Keynes. Seriously, because I've been to Luton. I didn't realise it's that far away from London. Right, okay. 42. Oh, from Hollyhead, living in Manchester. Okay. Um, 20, um, what am I talking about? Um, DVD lives near you. Right, anyway. Right, 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 right. Let's get on, let's get. Right, it's 42. Are we going with 42. B, everyone's saying B, let's go with B. Correct, well done. Right, musical show business. DVD says you, but show business got there first. Who is the timekeeper of Treasure Hunt? Wimpsy, Willis, Kenneth, Kendall, or it ain't Annika Rice, and we've had this millions of times. <laughs> right, I, uh, Wimpsy Willis. Is it Wimpsy Willis? Yes, of course it is. Well done. Star question. What is on a what is on the tail side of a 50p coin? Free 50p coin. This one, I think, this is the one that always got got us. Three feathers, a lion, or Britannia. Right, it's a lion. Yeah, I'm not listening to you, classics. <laughs> It's not a lion. This was the one that always stumped us. I think it was Britannia. Oh, I've got a, I've got a 50p. I've got new 50p, but what is it? It's a fucking rabbit. No, I think that's the old... Hang on, that's a fucking rabbit. That's a rabbit. I think because it's the new 50p. I, don't, I think it's different now. Why the fuck? Why the fuck has money got shit now? Why has it got a rabbit on it? The fuck's that, what's that got to do with anything? It's got a rabbit on it. Right, okay. Right, we'll go for Joker. Alright, trivia or music? Music it is. Who 
wrote the hit Sound of Silence, Lennon and McCartney, Otis Redding and Simon and Garfunkel. Hello Starshine, how you doing? Right, C, we've got two for C. I'm not listening to Maltese, so that's three for C. <laughs> right, okay. C. Well done, let's see. Yeah, I'm doing well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. All right, yeah. Right, music or music. Music it is. How many member? What? How many menders? How many members? That doesn't sound right. How many members? That should be. Were in the Swedish group ABBA? It's four. Four. Ents have ABBA. ABBA. How many menders? Trivial or show business? Right, show business. Okay. Who played the role of spy Harry Palmer? Roger Moore, Michael C Michael Caine. It's Michael Caine, isn't it? Or Michael J. Fox. Not a lot of people know that. Seems like a lot of people know that. It's Michael Caine. Because you're only supposed to blow the fucking doors off. How long can a dolphin stay underwater? This one stumps us as well. Three, nine or six minutes. <laughs> B, 100%. Are you sure? Right, B. Right, B, 100%. Well, if it's 100%, we'll go with B. No! Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> well, that 100% has gone for a burn. Well, we knew that because we got two wrong tonight. Right. Show business, trivia, sports, music or sports. Right. DVD says show business. What was Clive Gibbons' profession in Neighbours? A doctor, a mechanic? It was a, it was a doctor, wasn't it? I never watched Neighbours. I couldn't fucking stand it. Or a hotel manager. It's me mechanic? No, definitely... Right, it's, uh, I would say, probably a doctor, wasn't it? Right, Starshine says doctor, so does Billy. Let's go for doctor. <laughs> Excuse me, yes, you're absolutely right. Joker. Trivia, has to be. Which metal has chemical symbol SN? Silver, gold, or tin? Is tin okay? Tin. Correct. Well done. That's to be music. Who recorded the album A Number of the Beast? In excess, Ozzy Os. That's not how you spell Ozzy Osbourne, surely. Or Iron Maiden. I think it was Iron Maiden, weren't it? 100%. C. Iron Maiden. Everyone's... Yes, Maltese, we're not listening to you. <laughs> yes, well done, it was Iron Maiden. Star question. Have we actually had a star question tonight? What is a spinet? 
a spinning machine, a musical instrument or a toy? A musical instrument. Oh, you actually, oh, everyone's going for B. Yeah, well done. Right, sport trivia, show business trivia or sports? Show business, okay. Who presents TV? It'll be all right in a night. Oh, we know this. <laughs> if you're one of those people that can't make a decision after an outtake. Yeah, it's Dennis Norden. <laughs> it's fucking Michael Aspel. <laughs> It is Dennis Norden. Music or sports? <laughs> exactly. A clipboard and a pair of glasses. Right, music. Okay. Who married... Who is married to Linda Eastman? Paul McCartney, Chris Rea, or Ringo Starr? A hundred percent is Paul McCartney. Right, everyone saying Paul McCartney. It's Paul McCartney. Well done. <laughs> Joker. Everyone got that one right, apart from uh, apart from not classics, uh, Maltese music. Who had a hit with Devil Inside? In Excess, Ray Parker Jr. or Men at Work? I don't know this one. It's In Excess. Okay. In it. <laughs> yes, well done. Star question. Oh, well, I'm to 9.50 now. Which river flows into the North Sea at Cuxhaven? The Thames, the Tweed or the Albe? Right, we've got an hour, like a last hour, to try and get 50p. Right. What are we going for? The Tweed? The Tweedledum? Tweed oh, we've got one for A. Right. Oh, we can't, no, we can't pass. I keep forgetting about that pass because we got the pass button. I forget about that. Remind me about it. If that pass button is in the same colour as that, we can use the pass button. Remember that. That's something I never realised until one stream someone mentioned the pass button. Right. What are we going for? The Elb. See the... Uh, Right, two for C, we're going for C. The Elb. Well done, it's the Elb. Oh, we're up to 60. We're up to £9.60. £9.60. Um, music trivia, trivia, show business or show business. Music. Whose real name is Yasmin Evans, Madonna? It's Yaz. The only way is up. It's Yaz. Excuse me. Yep, yeah, well done. That was kind of obvious, but could have been wrong. Sports. Has to be sports. Where is boxing? Where is boxing Caesar's Palace? It's Las Vegas. New York or Glasgow? No, it's Las Vegas. We all know that. Right. 
Right, star question. In what city is the largest palace? Peking, Paris or London? It's Peking. I think there's a bit of a lag going on. Everyone push F5. I don't know if you're viewing it on a computer, push F5 if you're lagging. If you're on a smartphone or a tablet, I don't know what you push. Um, I think it's A, I think it's Peking. I think we've had this question many, many times before. I am sure it's Peking. Yep. I will go with A. That's correct. Well done. It's peaking. Okay. Right. Sports music, sports music or show business. Right, classics is music. Got the Joker there, so. What? Oh, fuck off! We know this one. Belgium, Sweden, or M Norway? Sweden. Where did Swedish group ever come from? Fuck me! What the fuck? The fucking. from the Fiji Islands. What oh, fucking stupid that is. Ah, oh, from Sweden, you're Swedish, show. Yeah. yeah. The, the, what Swedish group? Fucking hell, what the else? you got to be, yeah, obviously this is a pub trivia quiz. You've got to be fucking pissed out your end to get that wrong. Trivia or trivia? Right. What is the head of... A comic called a leader a Haley, now Haley's comment of comma coma whatever right you piss Rachel <laughs> good on you girl good on you there's nothing wrong with having a drink right Right, anyway, it's a comma, yep, we'll go for a comma. Trivia or show business? You can see I'm having a drink. <laughs> I don't know what you're, what are you drinking, Rachel? Right, show business. With which character do you associate Castle <laughs> I'm sure we ain't had this one before, but Mary Poppins. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, Mary Poppins. He man and the castle and the and the power of Grace Girl, yeah, Mary Poppins just dropped by. Oh fuck, this all lied. Oh, nine pound seventy. What is the main diet of a badger? Slugs, vegetarian or worms? Oh, Carling. I actually drink Carling. I drink Carling. But I, t I started drinking Carlsberg because, I don't know, I just prefer... It's just got a bit of taste. But I, 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 used, to be, I used to be on the car, car, Carling. <laughs> Mary Poppins and the bar. The Masters of the Universe, yeah. Right, worms. Right, okay, we're going for worms. 
Looks like it's going to be worms. Worms! Correct, well done. Drink anything, just be careful. Just be careful what you drink. Um, right, Joker. Right, trivia or music? Can you imagine if she, she turned up, Mary Poppins turned up at the castle grave as she started to drink a spoonful of sugar and the medicine goes down. Yeah, battle cat come out, fuck off. Um, anyway. Music. Nine pound eighty! <laughs> Who had a hit with the single pure? Lightning seeds, fairground attractions or ABC? Right, Jason says the A. Don't listen to Maltese. Right, Rachel says A as well. Stefano says A. Right, so lightning seeds. Correct, well done. Show, has to be show business. Who played BA in the ass? Fuck off. John, who the fuck's John B at Brackers? John Templeton, it's Mr. Fucking T. Show business or sports? <coughs> Excuse me. That was a burp, wasn't it? Rachel says show business. Okay. In what TV series did Ronnie Barker play Norman Flass? Porridge. Open all hours. No, it was porridge. <laughs> it's porridge. Correct. Well done. Star question. What is the head? Oh, we fucking had this. It's coma. Comma, what the fuck? Comma. It was comma, weren't it? Yeah. I'm quite intrigued to see if it actually goes up to £10 on this. I reckon it'll crash. <laughs> Right, trivia, sports, trivia, show business or music. Music. Who had a hit with Devil Inside? Ray Park. We first had this. It was in, his, in excess, wasn't it? See, this is what I mean. It's repeating the same questions. Has to be trivia. What are the three primary... Fuck off. RGB. Red, green, blue. Music has to be. Who had a hit with Everyone Wants to Rule the World? That's Tears for Fears. Oh shit. Neil. Fucking hell. I didn't know that. Right. You before. Yes. Yeah, fucking. Bony M. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Tears for Fears. Absolutely good band. Oh, did you see that? We're up to £9.90. £9.90. Can we do this? 
What planet has the most moons? Mercury, Pluto or Jupiter? Is it Jupiter? I think it's Jupiter. I totally agree. I think it is Jupiter. And I've got that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, did you just see that? Did you just see that? Did you just see what happened? It's just what I predicted. It's just what I feared. <laughs> I was going to save a snapshot. Does that mean we've got to continue playing this now? Because I had a feeling it wouldn't go for ten quid. Didn't go for ten quid. I just had a feeling. We can't. We can't. We know. We know. We got. We know. We got ten pounds. We know we got ten pounds. We know we done it. <laughs> I was I should have saved the snapshot, but it doesn't matter now because I just know it's fucked. Uh what do you wanna do? What do you wanna do? So the ga this game has finally ended. We got to ten pounds. I'm sorry, but this game is now finally ended. I gotta end it. We gotta end it. It's just gonna repeat itself all the time. We've been playing it since March. Well, no, we've been playing it since. May. We've been playing this since May. What's no? What's no? What's no? I'll be right back. I've just got to go and have another. You know what? <laughs> I'm just curious actually, I'm just curious. Let's see. Yeah, confirmed, it's gone back to three quid.
I had a feeling it weren't going to go for 10 quid because it ain't we ain't supposed to be playing this game like this that's why shift Q will fuck everything up all that work just to go back to 3 quid and the questions I will ask the question to you Maltese do you still want the snapshot I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about, I have not tested it, I have not tested it, I've got it all set up, but I've not tested it, so I might try Quick Plash. <laughs> who's up for Quick Plash? If I can get, if it works, who's up for Quick Plash? Right, I will save the snapshot. Right, so that'll be the end of that now. We're not going to be playing that no more. I might... Do you think it's a good idea to try the Amiga versions? Just see if it's got more questions. Not now, but maybe in the future. Right, well, I will try. I've got it set up, so I will try Quiplash. The advantage is, I've set it up so you won't see my ugly mug. Um, right, okay. Oh, don't fucking update Steam now! Oh, it ain't. Well, can you connect quicker? Right, okay. Ah. Right, I need to open my uh, another... Fucking hell. I've got to open another fucking window, haven't I? Right. And up another fucking jackbox. Here we are. Right, minimise that. Oh, fucking hell. This is going to be awkward. No, oh, stick that down there. I've just got to do a bit of rearranging of my... Here we go. That'll do. Here we go. Okay. Right. What you got to do... you got to open... You need this window... Oh, it's going to be a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun, Rachel. It is a lot of fun. I, this is brilliant. Thanks to Stefano. This is brilliant. Right, play the game. Right. Open up. Fuck. Oh, right. Hang on. Right. N I G D. Yeah. Bloody Stefano beat me. <laughs> Stefano beat me at my own gun. Oh, here we go. I've got four more players if you want to come in. Yeah, £3.49 on Steam. I also got the, um, the DLC for about 30 something P. Come on, Maltese, come in. Who wants to come in? It's a good fun. This is good fun. You can you can watch you can still watch you can still watch Jason you can still watch if you don't you can't come in you can still watch it's good fun it's good really good fun so we got James ah we got Andreas multi CB right two more. Two more want to come in? Two more want to come in? If not, I'll give a minute. I'll give. I'll give a minute. I'll give a minute. If anyone else wants to come in, you're more than welcome. I've got, I've got room for two more players. Okay. Just let me know when you come back, Maltese, and we'll start. And we'll start the game.
Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I think you can hear me. Is the is the audio too loud? Let me know about if the audio is too loud. Um, I just need a bit of feedback. I need a bit of feedback here. I can lower the audio. All right. Right, fix the output, right. How's, how's that? How's that off? Let me know if it sounds good. Oh, sounds good. Because I don't have my headphones on, this is the thing. I can hear it from my headphones. It's too low. Right, what about now? Hello? Alright, hang on, I'm just checking my levels. Just checking my levels on OBS. It, um, the, audio, the output audio is just, a, just below the orange and my voice is on the red. It's fine, okay, thank you. You're, you're, um, you're, your input always helps. You can play... Um, all you need to do is go to, um, as it says, go to Jackbox TV, but you've got to keep my stream open and go to Jackbox TV. You know, I, I don't know, I don't know about tablets and phones are fucking useless because I couldn't do both. Now the great thing is you can't see my voice. You can't see my face anymore. That's good. <laughs> Means I don't have to look at my face. Yeah, but the thing is, DVD. If you've got a computer, you're fucking laughing. You can do both. Well, this is the thing about computers. You can multitask. You can't multitask with a phone or a tablet. Well, not as well, anyway. Yeah, but on a computer you can do, you don't have to worry about that. Right, you're back, Maltese. Right, let's start the game. Right, I'm going to start. Everyone's in. How do I start the game? How the fuck do I start the game? I've already done it. That was a fucking lag. Hello there, I'm Josh Schmitty Schmitzenstein. Yes, that Josh Schmitty Schmitzenstein. Our whole lives have been leading up to this moment. Don't ruin it. This is round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Spell. I can't spell. Let's start this show. First up, 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> This is fucking awesome, this game. Fucking awesome. Bloody Stefano is absolutely brilliant for getting this. And I was, oh, fucking hell. Next one, something fun to ask the old wise man on top of the mountain. <laughs> it's voting time. <laughs> Oh my god. Excellent. <laughs> well, what's up, Neil? Ah, this is fucking awesome, guy. This is fucking brilliant. It's fun, but it's a bit of fun. This is the thing. Oh, two each. Next up. It would be awesome to win Jeopardy with the phrase, what is blank, Alex? Vote on your devices. Pancreas tests revealed. <laughs> Time to vote. Could jump out of a bachelor party cake. Hold on your devices. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. to a really mopey pig. It's voting time. <laughs> I couldn't spell, by the way. It's supposed to be bacon sandwich. I gave it away, I should have done that. Ah! One! Brilliant! <laughs> That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. Ooh! Bloody hell, it's close. It's close at the top. It's time for round two, where all point values are doubled. That's right, doubled. Mm. 
So what does everyone think of this? This is absolutely awesome. Okay, here we go. First one. What the government is hiding from the public in area 497. <laughs> okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. <laughs> I've got to go for that. I've got to go for it. Fucking brilliant this is. Fucking brilliant. I had to go for Stefan the Hound. <laughs> that was different. <laughs> okay, next one. Vote on your devices. Fucking awesome. <laughs> and next is surprising first words for your baby to speak. Time to vote. That's good, Maltese. That's good to wear. And next, a double rainbow doesn't have gold at the end of it. Instead, it has blank. <laughs> it's voting time. <laughs> Fucking brilliant. Next in line, what tattoo should Justin Bieber get next? <laughs> your devices. thing you can buy at the Vatican gift shop. It's voting time.
Oh, what have I unlocked? Got something unlocked? And that's all for round two. Fire up the scoreboard. Oh, look at the score. Wow. Welcome to the last lash of the final round. Stakes are tripled. There's just one prompt, and you're all getting it. Our last flash prompt is a clever thing for James Bond to say as he throws someone out of an airplane. Responses. Okay, in round three, you get to award three votes. You can give them all to one answer or spread them out. Ah, oh, there's some good answers there. There was really good answers there, actually. I was thinking of an answer, but I just couldn't think of one. My time was running out. I just had to think quickly. That's there. all. Now for the final scores. Yeah! Hey! First time I hosted it, I won. Awesome. <laughs> so who's up for another game? Who wants one more? I'll, I'll probably do one more game of this. Who's up for it? Right, okay. Right. VVHD. I'll wait a cup two or three minutes. If you want to come in, come in. Just going for a wee myself.
Bloody hell, we got a full house. So we got classics, me, James, Maltese. Right, we're off. I didn't even put nothing. Rachel and Andreas and Billy. Right, awesome. Oh, this is going to be brilliant. Let's not waste any time. I'm Schmitty. This is Quiplash, and we're on Earth. That about covers it. All right, you guys, hold on to your butts and also your phones, because here we go. Time for round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go. Okay, it's time for some quiplashing. Starting things off, invent a silly British term for pooping. Okay, <laughs> time. pick your favorite. Okay, next one. The Skittles flavor that just missed the cut. Time to vote. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Next up, worst thing to stuff inside a pinata. <laughs> Vote on your devices. <laughs> Next one, another name for the Grand Canyon. It's voting time. <laughs> Is anyone missing sound? No. <laughs> hey! Next up, something a weatherman might yell if he completely snapped during the weather forecast. Time to vote. <laughs>
Next in line, a bad substitute for a toothbrush? Vote on your devices. <laughs> La <-dee -el. laughs> and next is the worst soup flavor cream of blank. <laughs> It's voting time! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, dude. And next, time to vote. Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. Oh, James in the lead. Round two time, and to make it interesting, I'm doubling all the point values. You heard me. Let's take a look. Our first prompt is Everyone knows there's no such thing as blank. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. <laughs> Okay, next one. The Tooth Fairy's other job. It's voting time. <laughs>
Coming up next, the three ingredients in the worst smoothie ever. Vote on your devices. Three things to live, food, water, and blank. Time to vote. <laughs> Life hack, lower your heating bills by... It's voting time! <laughs> Next one, the best reason to go to Australia. Time to vote. <laughs> oh dear. It's fucking brilliant, Billy. It's brilliant. It's awesome. It's awesome. Good fun. Ooh. That was a tie. Next up, you should never blank and blank at the same time. Vote on your devices. <laughs> So, do you think this deserves to be on my stream? I think so, because everyone's enjoying it. If everyone's enjoying it, it should be. <laughs> Next in line... It's voting time! Now complete. Let's see who completed it well. <laughs> oh. And last now, round. round three, the last lash. Point values are tripled, and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. The last lash prompt is. A terrible theme for a high school prom.
right, here's the board. Vote away. It's over. Let's take a look at the final scores. Classic. Well done. You won that one. That was fun. That was so much fun. Right. I will do that again on my next stream. What do you think? That should be up there. That should be. I think that's better than anything, isn't it? Yep, I will do that on future streams, no doubt about that, because that was a lot of fun. Anyway, I'm going to be ending this now, and um, next Saturday, you know, I should be on next Saturday, we'll wait and see, you know, always back by here. But thank you very much for coming on, it's been a lot of fun, brilliant, thank you. Anyway. You all take care of yourselves and I will see you next time. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>